Come on, buddy. Well, kids, looks like uh, summertime's here again. Just wanted to let you know that uh, this is uh, Slappercast episode 269. Oh, dude. We're talking today about uh, conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories. Did you know that birds are not real? Did you know the earth is flat? Did you know that Texas is also not flat? I don't know if you can see that. That's a hill right there. It's uh, probably where everybody empties the rubbish. The last week, you probably saw the manipulated video. Manipulated video. Do you know what that means? It's uh, where somebody, usually a drummer, takes the video from a situation and cuts it to where it turns out to be something completely different than was recorded. So what I'm trying to say here, right here, right now, in episode 666 of Flabbercast, what I'm trying to say is that your glorious leader, me, your best friend, won fair and square. We went into a donut shop and asked them point blank. I said, what's your best seller? They said, Boston Cream. And then what happened was the drummer came in. Drummer. Speaks very, very, very poor English. He says, dude and rad and uh, Chick-fil-A is open on Sundays. Anyway, we uh, happily entered the donut shop and everybody was happy with the result and then we came out. Anyway, long story short, the drummer manipulated the video to make it look like I lost. <laughs> so, conspiracy theories are 99% of the time pure rubbish, shite trash, basula. But I'm here to tell you, friends, that Slappercast has been stolen, manipulated, lied to. I just want you to know we're having it looked at. I have the best people forming a committee and we're going to look into this. The lovely Kelly Navarro, she's on my side, she knows. I really appreciate it. She even sent a picture of her Boston cream, which I gotta say, look pretty good. But mind you, when you're talking about blueberries and Boston creams, it really is. It's it's the difference between heaven and hell. So you know what we're talking about. So you can chime in. You let us know that your favorite is in fact Boston creams, and that you wouldn't be seen dead ordering a blueberry. Uh, what are they called? Doormats, donuts, doormats, whatever. Awful. Uh, joining us this week on. Slappercast, episode 27. We'll be joined by Pope John Paul the Seventh. No, 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 that's right. He canceled. Sore throat. All that praying on ch praying uh, for for world peace. Anyway, I can't wait to see you all. We're we're gonna be on tour here very very soon. Back out on the road. I just wanted to check in and let you know that conspiracy theories, for the most part shite but sometimes just sometimes if you're dealing with a drummer check it out make sure it's real make sure the birds are not fake make sure that the earth is now let's just call it concave let's just say let's just meet meet, meet in the middle what's halfway between round and flat let's just say it's it's curvy let's just say that Slapper gasp. Slapper gasp. Oh, I can't, I can't even begin to tell you how amazing the audience was here tonight at Logon Cafe in Beaumont. We're just now leaving, I don't know, what is it, 11, 11.35 or something like that, 11.40. And uh, I think we finished playing like two hours ago. People, they just wanted to talk to us and, and telling us how much how amazing the show was and they've, they're gonna follow us, they're gonna come see us next time. And we've always had great audiences here. We've always had great audiences here, but nothing like that has ever happened. I just feel like something's happening. And I will tell you more, but I gotta get out of here because I wanna get home. Wow, what a night. Uh, Log On Cafe, Beaumont, Texas, Chantel and all the crew. Uh, do yourself a favor, musicians, if you wanna play for the door, 
You want to build a following in a great town, great food, great drinks, great friends? Beaumont, Log On Cafe, Log On, one word, Log On Cafe. Talk to Chantel, bring something new, bring something exciting. It is a blast. Anyway, uh, just wanted to thank the crew, Craig Running Sound and all our friends, uh, Gary Berg, who is uh, Larry Burns' younger, better looking, more talented brother. Just all the gang. Can't say enough good things about it. So do yourself a favor. Log on Cafe Beaumont. Great crowd tonight. Everybody had a lot of fun. Uh, band played their ass off. Looking forward to going back. So that's Beaumont. That's Log on. Do yourself a favor. Go check it out. Cheers. All right. Here we are on the road home. And I want to get this out while I'm still riding this high. I've, I've had the palpable feeling for a, long, for a while now. Since we've been playing with Turbo and this this latest iteration of the band where we're kind of giving a lot of love to the three piece, you know, because we don't have a full time fiddle player. But I really have felt like something's happening, you know? Like this this we're going somewhere and it's it's not happening right away. You know, it's not happening overnight. Clearly twenty year old band, ain't nothing happening overnight with this band. But uh I just I don't know. It's just been this palpable feeling that things, the winds of change are, are, are kicking up, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's also, what's funny is, this is one of those crowds, because they're so attentive. This is the funny thing about like some of the best audiences that you can imagine. Sometimes you don't know what they're getting from you, what where they are with the show. Even, even if they're applauding, you know, it's, some, it's often not until after the show's over and then they come up and start talking to you that you realize, oh, we did go over they were enjoying it, like really enjoying it. <laughs> they were all talking to us as if we had just played a stadium gig, you know, and they, they had backstage passes or something. They were just so, so genuine and so heartfelt in everything that they had to say. And it wasn't just two or three people, it was like everybody came up and talked to us. And they're buying stuff and getting us to sign the LPs and everything. And I'm, I just, wow, wow. I was not expecting that tonight. Again, we always had a great time in Beaumont, always. But that has never happened here before. So something happened tonight. There's, some, there's something something special happened tonight. And we do need to give all due credit to Craig, who ran sound for us again. This time, this is the second time we've worked with Craig. He's an amazing guy with decades of experience uh, running big shows. So he, he did, that was part of it for sure, is that he mixed this like it was a big show. Yeah. It, it, this wouldn't have happened without Craig, I'll tell you that right off the bat. But it's not the first time he's run sound for us. Something about the combination of people and uh, the kind of show that we put on, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what happened just now. I am so happy. Okay, one more thing, this has to be said. And this is with no offense directed at Ivy or Jeff Duncan or Chris Buckley. Yeah, I just want to ask you, this is a quiz. This is a post Beaumont quiz. Can you guess how many of the, all the people who talked to us tonight, which is a lot, or you're just gushing over with praise, it's just telling us how much they love the show and all that stuff. Dude, can you guess how many people asked, where's the fiddle player? Zero. Zero. <laughs> so I can't wait for tomorrow. Uh, Brenham is always a fucking blast. Turbo on the SJC drums, everybody. Make a lot of noise and go. You too. I mean, you all, not you too. He doesn't like the band, you too. He hates you too. So I am driving home from our show in Brenham right now. We had another great night, terrific audience. Home Street Farm Beer Garden is 
one of my just hands down favorite places to play. One of these places where I just feel like I'm at home because we love Cameron and Julia, the owners. We love them like family members. They went to Ireland with us last year and they're just the two of the coolest people you'll ever meet. We learned tonight too that a lot of our, our Brenham friends are coming to Ireland with us this year. So I hope that you're gonna join us too. Blackguards.com slash Ireland. It's gonna be a two week tour this time. We're gonna hit the, everybody's always asking, every year people ask us, when are you going back to the North? Well, this year we're going back to the North. That's just the first week. So the second week we're doing the South and it's gonna be a you know bit of a different route than we did last year. You, you can come on both legs, you can come on one, either one you want. That's gonna be the trip of a lifetime. Every year, of course, is the trip of a lifetime of a lifetime. Because <laughs> everyone's different. And so I have a favor to ask too of you folks. If you're not following Blackguards on Instagram already, please go and do that right now. Turbo's got a little fire under our collective butts to really get our, our social media numbers up. Uh, because we, we're starting to get endorsements and things like that too. And there's other ones we'd like to get, but we, we need to have a much stronger social media presence than we do. So and that's on us because I'll be the first to admit it that typically on Instagram, we're just kind of using it as a as a place to advertise the next show. You know, it's not always very interesting. We've got going on there. We're trying to change that though. We're trying to have more actual music clips on there, fun stuff. We want to make it fun for people. We want to be interacting with you there as well as here on YouTube and on Facebook and all that stuff. So yeah, Instagram, please, please follow us there if you're not already. That's all I have to ask of you right now, except to please hit like and subscribe as well. And comment, commenting's always good. We like the comments and we love you. All right, bye. We do have uh, some new dates coming up here very, very soon. We're booking a lot of stuff. Uh, glad to be back in Clear Lake. We're going back to Clear Lake and Galveston very soon. So check out those dates and remember, hit blackguards.com and check out our new shirts and all that crap. So anyway, we love you. Thanks for listening. Cheers. He despises you too. The band all the way from Ireland. Oh, that's our life should be a Well, I'll dry the tears from your eyes. Oh, let's let a good thing die because you know I'll never, I won't lie to you. We're not from Oklahoma. Well, you know what? I'll never lie to you. Thank you very much for the Party is right here. I can't walk out, no.